Hello everyone, and welcome to Jumper Man Tech, where we specialize in HVAC, but do everything DIY. And today, I'm gonna show you how to replace a condenser fan belt, and an evaporator fan belt. All right, so here's our condenser fan belt because we are in our condenser unit. There are two compressors. Here's our condenser coil. So what we're gonna do is simply take our hand here and as we push up, we're actually gonna pull towards us. And that's it. Belt is removed. Here's our new belt. This is an AP70. So we're gonna start at our pulley and we're just gonna go around, as you can see, just like that. We are in. Next, we're gonna go to our flywheel. We're gonna take our hand like this, set it up, and we're just gonna spin it. And that's it. New belt installed. Next, we can move on to our evaporator. Now we are in the evaporator section. This is our evaporator coil. Here's our evaporator fan motor, and here's our belt. So we're just gonna repeat the same process. We're gonna pull towards us, and we're just gonna drive this up. And just like that, the belt is removed. Here's our new belt, this is an AX42. Start out at a pulley, we're in. Next, we can go towards our flywheel and just spin. That's all you gotta do to change a belt. When replacing fan belts, always make sure to check your tension, and if needed, grease your motor and bearings. If the belt was too tight, then you would have to make some adjustments, moving this plate so you can loosen the fan belt that is the proper way to do it, but honestly, most people don't do it this way. If you can find some leverage and take off the belt the way I showed you, that's the way it's really done in the field. But to be safe, you really do wanna adjust the motor plate so you don't stretch out this belt. And if anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.